how much fat can you lose in a healthy manner without losing muscle in a month let's get into the science behind it a healthy transformation is when you're losing only fat and you're not losing muscles so you need to make sure that you're losing only fat and not muscles and how do you do that and how much is this adequate amount of protein well that depends depends upon 1 gram of fat is 9 calories stored in our body in the form of triglyceride inside these fat cells called adipocytes now going by that roughly if i take half a kilogram of adipocyte a healthy transformation is when you are actually losing fat and you're not losing muscles so that begs us of the question how much fat can you lose in a healthy manner without losing muscle in a month let's get into the science behind it well if you're not morbidly obese you're just overweight say around 15 kilograms overweight a sustained healthy manner of losing weight is somewhere around 2 to 4 kilograms of body fat being lost every month and why am i saying this there's a science behind it let's dive into that now the fat which is stored in our body is stored inside something called adipocytes these are fat cells and it stores fat inside them in the form of triglycerides now if you know the amount of calories that we get from the food that we eat it goes like this protein and carbohydrates per gram gives us 4 calories fat per gram gives us 9 calories in that sense fat is lot more calorie dense it's almost more than double the amount of the calories as compared to 1 gram of carbohydrates or protein now the same fat is how we it is stored in our body is actually can be looked at as 1 gram of fat storage in our body also gives us 9 calories that much amount of calories is what is stored inside our body for future use now when will our body put that calories to use the stored calories which is fat to use that is when you are on a calorie deficit meaning you're eating lesser calories than what you spend in a day let's take an example you're eating only 1500 calories in a day whereas you are spending somewhere around 2000 calories so you are on a deficit of around 500 calories now in such a scenario as i earlier explained body will tap in from mass and certain mass is converted into energy and that's how you will lose weight but earlier in the beginning of this discussion i mentioned a healthy transformation is when you're losing only fat and you're not losing muscles so you need to make sure that you're losing only fat and not muscles and how do you do that couple of things one your calorie deficit should be sustained and sensible it's not huge amount of deficit stick to 500 calories deficit don't if your expenditure is 2000 don't eat to 800 calories or crash diet that's going to make sure that you're going to lose a lot of muscles along with it body does not have the leeway to differentiate between muscle and fat and facilitate a healthy fat loss with while preserving muscles if you do that so it's extremely important that you sustain a calorie deficit of 500 and not more than that second thing that you need to make sure is to have adequate amount of protein while i'm sure you would know that protein is important to maintain and preserve muscle mass and how much is this adequate amount of protein well that depends depends upon the age of a person gender of a person medical conditions of a person physical activity levels of a person but a general guideline is 0.8 grams up to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight so for person is 80 kilograms of weight that would be 80 into 0.8 that is 64 grams of protein to start with up to roughly around 160 grams of protein that is 2 grams per kg so, but this is a broad range at what level and how much grams of protein would you really start depends from person to person say if a person has a mild kidney damage and creatinine levels are high or if the urine is frothy and has albumin in it then you would have to start a little at a lower end of the spectrum person has uric acid you would apply the same logic a man can have perhaps more protein than woman because of higher muscle mass so there are many other things other than just a blanket application of this broad guideline that i just mentioned anyway that's the second thing that you need to make sure that you're not losing muscles the third thing is exercises if i'm taking some dumbbell and then doing a bicep curl or some muscle based exercises you're putting that muscles to use and the body would know that these muscles are required and has to be preserved so while you are on a weight loss please don't take energy out of that muscles preserve that muscles and make sure that you're losing only the mass which is fat mass so these are the three things i'll repeat it for you when you're on a sustained calorie deficit when you are having adequate amount of protein and when you're making sure that you're doing some exercises and using those muscles you will lose only fat and you will preserve muscles but coming back to the original question how much fat can we lose in a month well as i earlier said 
one gram of fat is nine calories stored in our body in the form of triglyceride inside these fat cells called adipocytes. Now, going by that, roughly if I take half a kilogram of adipocytes, would be around 500 grams, right? Of that, around 400 grams of will be fat and remaining would be other constituents maybe water other minerals and other things so if i take half kilogram of fat tissue in our body that is 400 grams of fat and i earlier mentioned one gram is nine calories so that would be 400 grams of fat would be roughly 3500 3600 calories stored inside it so half a kilogram of fat tissue is 3500 calories now if you're on a calorie deficit of 500 calories in a day it will take up to a week seven days for you to attain a cumulative calorie deficit of 3500 the math behind is 500 a day so in seven days you will reach 3500 500 into seven which means your body would have used half a kilogram of fat tissue to derive energy from it in this manner if you actually look in for a month and sustain such a calorie deficit you're losing around two kilograms of fat from the body now the maximum that you can push with regards to the deficit on a higher end would probably be around 700 to 800 calories in a day which means you can probably push it up to around three and a half to four kilograms of fat being lost in a month now it also depends on many other factors it depends upon genetics it depends upon metabolism your thyroid function function and many other factors including your activity levels your sleep your exercise levels all these parameters would decide how healthy are you losing weight but then mota mota if you kind of look into it from an understanding of how you improve your body composition which is you lose fat and gaining muscles this is the science behind it the math behind it i hope i didn't scare you with too much of information and science i hope i was able to make it simple and easy for you but when you look at a healthy transformation make sure you don't skip those dinner and resort to a cucumber salad in the name of losing weight because that's gonna come back in terms of weight gain again and that's not gonna be very healthy